So write this down please and we'll have a go at doing one of these. It'll be nice and more straightforward because it's nice whole numbers. Uh, your title is... Graphing a straight line. And it's just a continuation on of yesterday really. Christian and Zavi, stop. All right, so for the line. Given by. So we're writing all of this down. So for your graph, we're just going to do a sketch. And uh, so have a go at it. All right, so we've got the, uh, what is the gradient? Hands up. Maya? Four. Okay, the gradient is four. Good. Gradient is four. What is the y-intercept? Hands up. Zuri? Negative two. Negative two. Good. So we've got the gradient, we've got the y-intercept. Using this information, we need to graph this. So what's our starting point? Where do we start when we are going to graph this? Sam? Right, so we start down at negative 2 because that is where the graph goes through. Then how do we work out, you know, our next point? Bella. Well, first of all, you look at the gradient, which is 4. Yep. And for right over 1, you need a fraction, so yep. 4 over 1. Good, 4 over 1. And you go up 4 from negative 2, which is actually 2. And then you go over 1, which is 2. Good, right, so we've got rise over run, so it's 4 over 1, so we go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we go over 1. And we have our line. Now I've noticed that whenever people are drawing this, let me just change colour, um, you've just connected the two points together. Now, it's kind of a good idea to get into the habit of extending these lines, okay, because remember, it doesn't just stop at that point, okay? So you want to make it go through. I'm going to make it go through. Let's do it again. 
Oh, it's okay. So you can make it longer, okay? Yes, Sienna. Did you do like a different exercise where you were just not to do that? You said like just stop at the point? Okay, now that's... Shh. Okay, now that is, you can remember if you're, if you have to stop, like, so, okay, let me just go back. So this is, yeah, it's good. Well done for remembering that. Who can remember? How do I know when I have to stop? Okay, what, what should I see in the question? No, that's no. Okay, we see something which is called the domain. Okay, and the domain tells us if we have to stop. So if I was to draw it like this, the domain would be between x would be between no, 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 x coordinates, right? Zero and one. Okay, so if this was in the question, if this was in the question, shh, listening, Faven. Even if this was in the question, um, then we would just draw between zero and one, okay? But because we don't have any domain specified, okay, it's not telling us where to stop, then we can continue the line and make it longer, okay? Yes, Bella? Can you just draw arrows? No. Um, because you don't draw arrows on your straight lines. No. That's not something that, uh, that we do, okay? Yes, Maya. Um, so All right, so this is to show that these two things are going to give us the same curve, or same line even, I should say. So the first one, negative 2, 3, our y-intercept is? Yeah. Zero, so I'm starting at zero. I have got rise over run. Our rise is negative 2, so I go down 2, and our run is 3, 1, 2, 3. So this line, I need a better way to draw these, is going to go through these two points. Let me... Okay. So, and I'm going to label it. This is y equals negative 2 over 3x. Now the other one, I'll do in a different color. It is 2 over negative 3, so I go uh, across 2, and then down 3. Sorry, what? What's <laughs> negative 2, which one did I do first there? I did this one. Negative 2 over 3. And then 2 over negative 3. Okay, yeah, so rise, 1, 2. And then run negative three, so one, two, three, so our point ends up here. So my second line goes through here. So what can we see about these two lines? They are exactly the same because they are exactly the same number, okay? They're exactly the same number. 